Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Jermel Charlo exposed. I told you guys over and over and over that Jermel Charlo was a hype job. I tried to explain to you that power does not win fights. It must be skill. I tried to tell you that the same reason Mikey Garcia can beat Errol Spence is because you can't hit what you can't touch. There's levels to this game and you need more than power and punching. Jermel Charlo shares the same trainer as Errol Spence Jr. and Derek James. And if you see the instruction in the corner, it was a lot of screaming, attack him, get him. There was no instruction about how to cut the ring off, about how to attack him and how to use your IQ and stop this guy. You saw Tony Harris all night long avoiding punches, slipping shots and countering beautifully and dominating Jermel Charlo. You're going to have a lot of fanboys out here and even some of the press stating that Jermel Charlo got robbed. And you know, the funny thing about that is, you know Jermel Charlo didn't get robbed, and this is how you know. All three judges had a unanimous decision and saw Tony Harris winning. Tony Harris dominated that fight because he countered Jermel Charlo the entire fight. Jermel Charlo was reaching and grabbing air again and again and again. Let's be unbiased. Jermel Charlo got dominated and exposed as a one-dimensional fighter. I told you over and over and over and you have fanboy again and again and again and again and again tell me that I'm just hating on these guys I'm not hating I'm giving you facts and just like I said Deontay Wilder cannot box he will be exposed by Tyson Fury it happened I tell you Jermel and Jamal Charlo are hype jobs Jermel Charlo fell tonight because he is a hype job because when someone starts avoiding him that can actually box he gets exposed and don't don't under, don't misunderstand this. Tony Harris is not an elite fighter. This guy's not an elite fighter. So if a guy at this level can do this to you, at this level can do this to you, imagine what another guy at a higher level can do to you. See, you got to understand that there's more to boxing than sitting in front of your opponents and allowing them to hit you. You can't be mad because you pressed the action, but you couldn't get your shots off. I had a lot of fanboys said I was hating because I said he couldn't cut the ring off with Austin Trout to dominate him. He was yelling at Derrick James. The exact same thing happened tonight. This shows that there's no progression in their training camps. They're learning nothing new and they're sticking to the same thing because training and changes does not come until you take a loss, until you feel a need that you need to develop better. This is why I rate guys with skill overpower and punching so many guys look at these situations as racially biased be honest and unbiased about yourself we do not fanboy for anyone we always pick the tactician over the puncher now before this fight i thought there was no way that jermel charlo would lose because tony harrison had already been stopped i didn't think that tony harrison had the ability to go 12 rounds to outbox and counter punch the way he did tonight and he embarrassed and humiliated jermel charlo and exposed him as a hype job and we've been calling this all along that this is not the guy you thought he was and this is why I was trying to tell everyone, you can't go with hype. This is how you know that Dante's bias nation, boxing bias ego, and the LDBC fangirls are all liars, all biased, and they don't call it down the line. These guys are PBC fanboys, and they're going to be crying foul, and they say, oh, he got robbed, or whatever they want to say. This guy got a unanimous decision victory countered him and outboxed him the entire fight it wasn't even close it was not even close Jermel Charlo is a one-dimensional fighter who got exposed once again unbiased as always the IBFP please share like and you must absolutely subscribe